Hey guys, Gun Lover for Life here. I'm doing a video. I haven't done one in a while. Um, it's about a knife thing that I did just recently. I don't know. Got bored one day. And uh, it started out as a Spider Co. I don't remember which model it was, but it started out with just standard G10 grips. And that's a scratch from the clip. You know, good material. You know, but, um, this didn't feel very good. You know. You know, standard bead washed spider coat grip er, thing. And, uh, decided, I don't know, I got bored, so I was like, you know, I'll make some custom grips for it. And, um, well, here it is. It's, uh, Just a standard Spyderco, nothing to it, with uh, custom wood grips, and they're not finished yet, that's just one coat of varnish. Uh, the wood's not good wood, it's just what I had laying around, so. Uh, there's something I wanted to change up for my, because I usually carry my Spyderco, since uh the knives I normally would carry, uh, you really don't want to get caught with it in your pocket. And, um, especially at work. Uh, so, made gross for this to make it nice. Um, the wood's a little, I mean, you can tell it's not the best quality. But, uh, this is just that first set. I'm probably going to go back and make some better grips. But, uh, I don't know if you could tell this. But the edges have been beveled to fit the wood. I went ahead and redid all the metal on it. But there's some touch up like right there, it needs to be touched up. But that'll be done with the actual like when I get to the better wood. Um, the blade's decent, I mean. It's shiny right now because I uh, I was using this Hapix uh, semi chrome polish. Good stuff. You know, uh, cloth. It's a four layered cloth. Well, two layers if you want to count. And you, uh, you put the stuff on there and it stays. But, um, off topic. I have a knife that, uh, I received from my, uh, grandfather. And, um, I'm not really sure what it, I. You know, I heard stories about, because he was in, I don't remember which war, but, um, I know it was, like, probably, I think it was World War Two, and, uh, going through quite a bit, fighting them, and, um, he brought back a lot of interesting souvenirs, and, uh, as you know, most people from that war era doesn't talk, like, they don't like talking about their war stories. Well, he passed away, and, um, I received a lot, you know, since I was his grandson, I got a lot of his stuff, and, uh, this is one of the knives I got. I got a gun from him, too, but that's currently at the gunsmith, because, um, as his actual sidearm that he carried, he was a CB, and so, uh, that was a CB firearm. And it needed a lot of work. I mean, it was wore down. The seer and it was completely off. It wouldn't lock. The hammer wouldn't lock back. When you open it, it was a top, top break. So you can, no safety, standard wool gun. Um, it would not eject shells. That's all many rounds he put through it. But um, to the knife. Let me put, let me show you all. My first thought was when I saw that I was like, I'm not really sure what it was, but I did some research on it and I can't find anything. And I saw it, that's why I was wondering. Um, what most people, like what his, what my uncle told me about this, is he said it was probably a suicide knife, which meant, as it means, it was used to kill yourself as a final resort if you were captured, which um, was quite common during that time. Most of the time, if you were caught, it was. 
stung there to kill yourself if you needed to. And um, it's not not casted. It's real hammered still. Like um, here, I'll open it. It's it definitely if it's definitely a suicide knife. You can see how it is. Uh, I don't see know if you can really notice that, but it was hammered, and uh, you can tell. You can also look at it and tell the sharpening on it was done. Really high polish sharpening. Um, sorry about the quality. I'm using my iPhone again, but it says on here it says uh, Commercial Pacific Incorporation property of Japan. So I'm not sure whether or not it was just some. You know, knife made over the years again, or what? But uh, it is handmade. I mean, as you can tell on the grips, it is not perfect. <laughs> I mean, it's beyond far from perfect. Basically, as you can tell, the blade is bent. It's not even in the thing correctly. And uh, see, but I'm not sure what it is. So if y'all could actually tell me. If you've even seen one or know what it could be, it'd be nice to know. Because, um, it's something that's been on my mind lately, you know, wanting to know what it is. Because um, it's like one of the only things I have for them, so it means a lot. So if you, anybody on YouTube that can tell me anything at least about it, I'd like to know. And um, that's it, guys. I uh, look forward to more reviews later on down the road. More custom work semi, I guess you could say, and everything else. Um, maybe even do a review on Spyderco. I don't know. matters if people want to see it or not. Um, thanks for watching. If you want to see more videos, subscribe. You know, got any questions or know anything about it, um, message me, private message me, or just comment. It doesn't really matter. I'll reply to basically anything I can. Um, thanks for watching.